Hey everybody, David here. Welcome to the AI Guide where we focus on the human impact of AI like nobody else. So I told you in yesterday's short we would come back to the topic of advanced air mobility. There's a reason we're doing two segments on that this week because it's at near breakthrough for this. Yesterday on the short, we found out about completion of a major test that will allow AAM to go into, go live. Now we're gonna talk about the final thing needed before AAM goes live. Government and industry collaboration leads to first air taxi delivery. A new air taxi from the manufacturer Joby Aviation will allow NASA to evaluate how this kind of vehicle could be integrated into our skies for everyday use, while the Air Force researches its potential military use. So Joby is basically first to production with an AAM or UAM, same thing. <laughs> Advanced air mobility means anywhere. <laughs> EVTOL, electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft for a small group of people. UAM, urban air mobility, is just AAM in cities. On September 25th, Joby announced the delivery of one of their air taxis, an electric vehicle takeoff and landing EVTOL aircraft, through a funded contract with their customer, the U.S. Air Force AFWORKS Agility Prime program. NASA has an interagency agreement with AFWORKS to use the aircraft for testing concentrated on how such vehicles will fit into the national airspace. We've talked about this before, but these AAM have to fit into the overall context of air traffic, right? Most notably commercial air traffic, but also coming millions of drones. NASA and AFWERKS have an important active collaboration on AAM. This collaboration puts the best talent with the latest resources in the same place to accelerate the future of the AAM industry. Starting in 2024, NASA pilots and researchers will work to test the Joby aircraft, focusing on air traffic management, flight procedures, and ground-based infrastructure, the final hurdles to commercial flights. NASA is developing a blueprint for how the air transportation systems of the future will fit together. Air taxis and drones can be used for emergency response, fighting wildfires and delivering medical supplies, and they will make our communities more connected and accessible than ever. Why? The last video we did before this week on AAM talked about how AAM will connect the small cities and rural areas that will never have commercial airplanes. NASA's goal is to help mature technologies that will push the entire air, taxi, and drone industry forward. Sharing its findings with the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, so that the FAA can make new policies to clear this. This work builds upon progress NASA made with Joby under a now completed non-reimbursable Space Act agreement. The research focused on studying aircraft noise and involved a series of flight test simulations and Joby simulator, as well as flight testing. So there's been a lot of things going on. The most recently completed study per the last short is how wind swirling around buildings will affect landing zones for this aircraft. But previously, they completed studying the noise level because this thing is going to be all over the place and how these aircraft will actually work by simulating flights. Now they're going to actually test a production aircraft while the FAA certifies it for flight, by the way. Joby was one of NASA's small business innovation research recipients during the early stages of the company's technology development. That's called SBIR grants, and those grants are about $100,000 from 
to get to proof of concept from you have an idea, but in simulation at the company only, will this thing work? That's what SBIR our grants are for. They're given every year and anyone can compete for them with their idea. NASA's SBIR program provides support that small businesses jumpstart innovative technologies benefiting the U.S. economy. So many, many startups go for these SBIRs. Agility Prime is AFWorks program focusing on researching and testing the military use of these aircraft. That's EVTOLs. The aircraft was delivered to Edwards Air Force Base in Edwards, California, also home of NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center. This is the first of several Joby aircraft that the Air Force is using for testing at various military bases. So setting the military uses of these things aside, which principally would be short, short distance tra transportation surrounding a battlefield environment. But setting that aside, AAM is now in the final steps. It's undergoing NASA testing to build the protocols to give to the FAA to allow these aircraft to fit into the national airspace here in the U.S. and other countries will be doing the exact same thing. They may even use NASA's work that they give the FAA. And in addition, the FAA is certifying these Joby aircraft for commercial transportation. As we've talked about before, initially a pilot will be at the controls of these things because the FAA is never going to allow air transport to go direct to autonomy. It's not going to happen. So first it'll start out with a pilot there. If I had to guess, the pilot is going to have to do the takeoffs and landings, but an algorithm may fly the aircraft once it at flight altitude. Then after that will come takeoffs and landing autonomous. So at that point, the pilot will just be sitting there monitoring like a lot of the level three self-driving that's going on across the world right now. And then of course, the final step is no pilot, but control still there. That's level four. And then ultimately level five, no controls in the cabin, just passengers. At that point, they would reconfigure the cabins. So AAM is coming. Testing in 2024. FAA aircraft certification in 2025, along with probably issuing rules because this work has been going on for years. And I think it's safe to say that by 2025 second half or definitely 2026 passenger flights with AAM vehicles. And we've talked about this before also starting in Florida because they're already building the first route from Orlando to Tampa, building the airports to service these things and the world will change and we'll be off and running on a whole new way to Trent to get around. Whole new way to get around. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please subscribe. We're at 950. I only need 50 more subscribers to hit full monetization. Please subscribe. Thank you very much. And thank you to my existing subscribers. Wouldn't be at this point without you. And finally, please support us on Patreon. Next week, I will tell you something huge I'm going to do, and I need the support on Patreon to help pull this off. But this is huge that I'm going to be doing. The biggest thing in AI this year, period. So please support me on Patreon. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.